would you marry a woman like this or not to all the men out there okay men if a woman says you are very kind and attentive but she cannot but she cannot say that she loves you uh she puts you in the friend zone she is a feminist she does not like the practicality of life and he is a nice guy he is a nice guy today's topic what a young man should look for in a wife part number three all right so um if you've been looking at that part you know what we've been talking about in this section and uh so I'm not gonna make a long introduction. I'm just gonna get right into the topic. So, without further ado. Now, um, if you if you remember, we stopped over there, where she was talking about the um, the girl Edith, um, and then White was talking about Edith, and we saw that she had no taste or inclination for practical duties of life, which for a man should be a no no. You do not want to get a woman who doesn't like who doesn't like practicals, practical duties of life in um, home life. That is a no no. So let's see what she says now. She says now this is Ellen White, the the author, talking to Edith, and Edith Edith now replied to her. She told me oh no Ellen White is saying what Edith is saying right now she told me that she was not decided in anything that you were ur very urgent and loved her but she could not say that she loved you although you were very kind and attentive uh, said I then come to an understanding said I then come to an come to an Come to an understanding. Do not lead him on. L L twenty one point four. Okay, man. If a woman says you are very kind and attentive, but she cannot, but she cannot say that she loves you. Uh, she puts you in a friend zone. You need okay, men. You need to stop giving women attention. If she doesn't reciprocate, get out. Because women will always... Remember I mentioned that earlier. Men hunt for sex. Women hunt for attention and validation. If you are giving her attention, well then, guess what? <laughs> You will not get any pum pum from her because she's gonna give the pum pum to the man who's not giving her attention. You you need to have a balance. Sometimes you have to give her some attention and then remove it from her. That way she comes to you as well. If you're the only one going to her, going to her, and going to her, and then she's then you basically you you basically like a, a a a toaster, right? The toaster is here, and you have no clue it's here, because it's all is always there. But the moment it's removed from you, then you're like, where's the toaster at? That's how women are. If you're always in their DMs, 
always trying to talk to them first. Well, then they already know you're going to be there anyways. So they're going to give their attention to the man who is not giving them attention. And here, she says she could not say that she loved him even though he was very kind and attentive. Women don't like men that are kind and attentive. Most of the time. If they are talking to you and you're listening, they like that. But if you're always giving them attention, they don't like that. You're not supposed to do that as a man. Point blank. So, <laughs> that's very interesting. Ouch. I feel bad for, for Wolf now. I feel bad. And like I mentioned, they will always keep you around because you're giving them validation and attention. But you need to know as a man to remove that from them. So they work for your attention. And don't be afraid to make a, a woman angry. Oh, they like being angry. And once you make them angry, they can see that you don't care about what they think or not. You're going to do you. That will make them want you more and more now. So maybe he was very was way too nice to her. Which I don't do that. That's not, that's not important to me. To be nice to a girl like that. No. But let's move on. I told her she should consider the object of a marriage with you. Whether by such a step you could both glorify God, whether you whether you would be more spiritual, and whether your lives would be more useful. Marriages that are impulsive and selfishly planned generally do not result well but often turn out miserable miserable failures. L Y L twenty one point five. We call that usually divorce. If there was a lot of sex before marriage, then more likely you're going to get divorced after. That not all the time, but a lot of the time it's going to end up in divorce. If the guy or the girl was having sex left and right with other people, more likely when they get together, they're going to get divorced as well. So that shouldn't be any surprise to any of us nowadays. I think we... I think we, we see it enough to know that that part is true in and of itself. In and of itself. But let's move on. Now, she's talking to Rolf now. Now, Rolf, I cannot say that it is my business to say that you should not marry Edith. I'm going to say, man, do not marry a woman like this. I don't care what my business is. Do not marry. In, in that, my, my business in this affair do not marry a woman like this you see women always like to be emotional and I think in here she should have told him do not marry a woman like her that's the that's the best logical thing to do do not marry if you already assessed everything and you see she's not a fit for him that this kind of thing that he is looking for she is the opposite just tell him, do not marry a woman like this. That's simple. Now, Ruth, I cannot say that it is my business to say that you should not marry Edith, but I will say that I have an interest in you. Here are things which should be considered. Will the one you marry bring happiness to your home? Is Edith an economist? Oh, good question. Or will she, or will she, if married, not only use up all her own earnings, but all of yours to gratify to gratify a vanity, a love of appearance? Are her principles correct in this direction? L one L twenty one point six. As I mentioned on February twenty fourth, as I mentioned, I was talking to. Um, a friend of mine, and he said, Mario, if you marry the wrong woman, all the money that you have saved up to that point will be booked in one day. Is she an economist? Does she know how money works? 
and a lot of men nowadays um unfortunately a lot of men nowadays don't know don't know uh <laughs> aye, aye. they don't know to look for a woman who knows money most women don't know anything about money all they know is how to spend money right most women all they know is how to spend money when you find a woman who knows how to save money and not spend but invest money man and she knows the duties of life oh yeah, yeah. you 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 blessed forever if she has that tendency of wanting to live the good life um like edit then that's already a i would call her a jezebel she's not fit for marriage if she would be that type of a woman nowadays i would say that i want to have it all they want to have it all but guess what you cannot have it all You cannot have it all. You can't. Because <laughs> try to have it all and see how your life is gonna be. That's what I'm gonna say. But yes, in this case I would tell him do not marry that person. Well of course he if he if he might still make his own decision to marry to marry her that's not me anymore i've done my duty it's a warning you look for these red flags if you see them run uh i'm gonna stop right here i think i do not think edit knows what self-denial is okay that's a problem because as a christian you know the first thing is if anyone wants to come after me let him deny himself and pick up his cross daily and follow me um, if you don't know what self-denial is then there is no need for you to get married because marriage is a self-sacrifice self-denial institution if she had the opportunity she would find ways to spend even more means than she has done with her, selfish gratifications have never been overcome and this natural self-indulgence has become a part of her life. She desires an easy, pleasant time. <laughs> she is not wife material. Gentlemen, be careful. If if every if that video can reach a lot of men, I hope they can listen to that and look for a woman because there are many women out there that are not wife material. And of course, if you're looking for a wife material, you have to become a husband material. Okay? But this right here is a prime example of a feminist right here before i think if feminism started in 1920s as this or 1940s then this is the this is the, the the seed to that rise of feminism right here in the church wow it started in the church that's sad she is a feminist she does not like the practicality of life And he is a nice guy. He is a nice guy. In this country, people spend more than they make. I've noticed that. People spend more than they make. The latest um, iPhone comes, they want to buy it. The latest car comes, they want to buy it. Even if they don't have the means, they want to buy it. 
that's just self gratification self indulgence um so let's see we don't have we have a lot more to cover on this one so i'm gonna cover the rest of that in the next video maybe wow okay i can do that in the next video until then guys i'm gonna stop right here for sure <laughs> i'm gonna stop right here uh he has a there guys we have a lot of work to do and what kind of woman we're gonna attract in our lives but i'm gonna stop right here um leave the comments down below and see would you marry a woman like this or not to all the men out there so that was mario michelle hope to see you guys again until then mario out